Hey, welcome back to the Shah for Social Help Positivity. You'll recognise this man, and if you don't, where have you been all our lives? He's been on this podcast possibly more than anyone else, bar myself. And you'd like to say it's Rich Swatton, uh, the director, one of the directors of the fantastic Mighty Mighty Festival. Now, it's coming round to that time of year again. Great lineup, but I'm going to let you... Rich, how you doing, sir? I'm all right. I'm yeah. all right. Yeah, we're sort of, <laughs> I'm all right. I'm all right. <laughs> we're, we're, we're sort of getting to the uh, get, getting to the bit where everything's ramping up now. Yeah. So it's it, every every day there's a new deadline. Yeah. Um, but it's yeah we're we're keeping on top of it. Yeah. <laughs> it looks amazing. We were saying weren't we the other day that the website check out the website everyone. Yes, um, please do. We'll obviously on this Maya please put lots of. Um, information about how to get tickets how much are the tickets this year Ooh, uh, I think they're currently for a weekend adult ticket is 95 quid so that's from uh, Thursday through till Sunday night yeah we're so, good cheap uh, half the price right and there's a day tickets left they're gone uh, we've in terms of weekend tickets we we've got about 25% of the tickets left so yeah. they're, they're going fast yeah um, day tickets uh, Saturday tickets I think we've only got about 10% left yeah um, and then I think we've got a few more of the Friday and Sunday tickets so if you want to see Ash and Sleeper play on the Sunday just thought I'd shoot on that great in. yeah no exactly it's fantastic it's really exciting Oh, it's exciting anyway. It's a great community festival, and obviously we 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 had our first one, didn't we, dear? Last year, it was amazing. It was so great of you guys to allow us to have the Candy Watts tent, and we're going to do it again. Meeting the wonderful Oz and all the good people from the uh, college over at Western, yeah. but they were fantastic, and it's a great college, and we've done a podcast. Yeah, I heard you do nice that. Nice one. Yeah, so. yeah, yeah. Just Hi, because, if you're, Oz, watching. if you're watching this, if you're not, we'll tell you that it's on. <laughs> um, but yeah, really amazing. He's never going to sell ice cream. He's travelling that fast, is he? Um, amazing uh, feeling of, of because they were also students, and you obviously know what we do in our alternative education yeah. part of it. George is obviously one of our ex students. It's, it's a very similar ethos you guys yeah, have got. Isn't it? It was yeah, so it's good. such when you said it, obviously that's great, and you go right. But the proof of the pudding is in the eating, and I and I ate that pudding, didn't I? And, that, <laughs> and that's why I'm this fat people. Um, we, yeah, it I was your like saw that pudding as well. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it was a cider. You had <laughs> like we got that lovely cider. Um, yeah, it was just a fantastic experience from the logistical part you know there's beautiful acts great and, and fantastic and we, and we had glorious things to watch and, and be part of but actually the, the not the backstage but you know what i mean the sort of the, the nitty-gritty of, of actually getting the whole thing working and overcoming uh, challenges and as you remember the uh, someone drove over the bloody cable for the generator and stuff like that i remember um, but it was I love it when you know people adapt and that's what life's about it's, and it's like wow this is it went from well the stage is going to be held up to whatever and there's something about that you know because think about the stage we had in the can do um, in the can do stage yeah. right well no flip was supposed to be playing on that Oh, we just yeah. I know yeah. you did, but that we only happened but because the of, the, of the of the of the of the power cut. Power yeah. cut. But that was almost better, wasn't it? It was a hundred percent. Yeah, better. they would have done it because they do it, but we wouldn't have probably got to see the full because you know, it's about room. Yeah, isn't it? yeah. You know, there yeah. we got we got great energy. There are you know see them this year, people. You, know, you didn't see them last yes, year. Yes, we've got them back they're on the main stage. They're on the main this stage, year. which is where they should be in most yeah. places. And but you wouldn't know that until you suck it and see. But I just think it was a quite yeah fortuitous. Well, the feedback we had about them yeah. was probably as much as any other band. You know, people well, that though the people that actually saw them yeah. last year. Saying, oh my God, you've got to get them back. So yeah, they're, good. So. I'm glad because that's that's so. true. Yeah, it, it was. Uh, and when the when the power went down in your stage, yeah. um, I can't remember who was playing. Someone was doing a solo act at the time. Yeah. And I think they just said, "Well, we'll just carry on." Then. Oh, Guillaume. Was it Guillaume? Yeah, Guillaume got off the th stage. He did. He was just he sat did on the thing. front of the stage or something. Yeah, and he? and he got the that was yeah again 
Guillaume Michel, he's playing again this year. He's fantastic, and he's, he's a very experienced performer. Yeah. And then when it went on, it was like I a bit did. Of a Cliff Richard Wimbledon moment, was it? Yes, hundred <laughs> percent. Congratulations! Stop that. Um, the so I then did a, a song, and then they said about the guys from Western College. Mm. Well, not only were they doing the sound, the two lads. Did they got, get up and play as well. It is fantastic. It's totally acoustic. In you know, not on the stage in the thing when it was all being sorted out behind, they just got and it was just like that's what I'm talking. That's what I'm talking about. Yeah. So you can you, everything you planned for was fantastic, but it's the bits when it seems to be going so to say wrong. Well, it wasn't because everyone just kind of like just did a beautiful transition into actually this is what we should do. You do need good people like Guillaume to go. Oh, don't worry about this. Boom, and start yeah. doing it, and everyone got really close, and it became a different experience. Mm. As opposed to, oh, I'm going to go back to my Winnie Bago <laughs> at the back <laughs> and um, wait until the power's put on, call, call my agent and call me when it's done. No one did that. They just got on with it, uh, which was great. And I think that's what I'm talking about, really. It's that kind of um, how good the vibe was. So none of that mattered. Of course, yeah. you have to overcome it. But it was only then when those challenges, what I'm saying in my usual ridiculous way is you wouldn't you wouldn't know how good and how able those people are particularly the, all the good people from Western College until something wasn't right yeah because there's always gonna be something not right it's like when it goes right yeah you're trained and you plan and you do this great well that's good well done but what happens when this happens like what I don't know someone r- drives over the cable between the thing and put, blows the whole stage oh. or a leak comes in the thing it's amazing so that, that in itself was, was part of the beauty. So I'm going to interview you for a minute on, on, you, on your show then. So, so you are now, you've got some news about our team tent, haven't you? Perfect, yes, of course. Right, so yeah, well done. We've swapped these, yes. yes. There we go. So basically, uh, this I, wonderful person... You start person... talking and then I'll do a five-minute ramble. <laughs> <laughs> what are you trying to say? What are you trying to say? Is that, isn't it? I can't help it. I, well, you know, if I could help it, I would be better at this, wouldn't I? Yeah, this wonderful man has asked us to do the team tent this year, and I just thought that maybe we'd swap it up a bit, change it round, and have, because we at Can Do have a lot of uh, fantastic professional music facilitators, wouldn't it be nice? Wouldn't it be nice to have facilitators? Imagine if they wrote that in the song originally. So our facilitators are going to facilitate a variety of sessions. So, for instance, Consuela, who's our wonderful pianist from Ukraine, mm-hmm. over visiting, for as long as it takes. Uh, <laughs> she is brilliant, and obviously she plays musically with us, and she's playing on the Sunday with Silvia, who's from Hungary, and they do a, a great range of, of uh, cello and keyboard. They, she will be doing a piano straight keyboard sessions for people, young people that want to either have a little go and see and get someone professional to help you, guide you, mentor you into starting playing keyboards or improve the skills that you've got or get some hints. Then we've got a bass, bass thing, Guillaume's going to do bass, we've got Jonah doing, Jonah Jones going to do drums, we're going to do a karaoke thing this year as well. So, right. because I think that you know, for, so yeah, there'll be the, the, right. so, the songwriting things with Guillaume and Joan and what have you. So, there'll be songwriting, there'll be and you're going to do guitar. a performance on the Sunday, aren't That's you? That's it, all so building this, up to yeah, a big, yeah. big performance. So, when we get a, a, a group of young people that, that want to do drums, guitar, bass, keyboard, whatever together and they can work on either a, a, a cover or an original, they will have a, a session, a session, is it a session? A segment of the, the actual stage on the Sunday, so they can practice over the weekend, and then they can perform on the can-do stage on the Sunday as part of this kind of uh, beautiful thinking, like you have the Western I College. Love that. Well, that. it's just part of your ethos yeah. as well, man. It's like, well, okay, if we're going to do the teen stage, instead of just being a free-for-all and everyone's hanging out, great, as, that, as, as, as great as that can be, why don't we actually look to try and foster the talent of the future? Mm. Which, you know, it would be great, wouldn't it, if we can track these people 
and you know hopefully they'll come every year anyway but they get bigger and better and they become bigger and better in everything they do but also you'll know when they end up playing on the main stage and no doubt if we're still alive by that stage <laughs> stage and stage uh, we will be able to interview them and yeah. see their progress but that I bet that doesn't happen at many festivals no I don't, I don't do you know what I mean I don't think so I mean right but we were saying just before you, just before you got back the um, I hope you didn't talk too much I think I think the main reason we started doing the teen tent yes. is because quite often at festivals, there's loads of stuff for obviously adults that are watching bands and there's yeah. the bar and all that kind yeah. of stuff. Kids have got bouncy castles. There's loads for the kids to do, yeah. but that thirteen to seventeen year old age gap, yeah. they tend to fall through the cracks. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So or start smoking crack, which is equally well. Good. Yeah. No, don't do it, kids. Don't, don't do, do it, kids. <laughs> No, no, really, really don't, don't, don't do it. No, seriously. <laughs> I'm, I'm like, well, I'm going to start smiling. No, seriously, don't do it, kids. Back to you, Rich. You're right. You're completely yeah, right. Yeah, and I so love that about the festival. You, you're trying to cater in the most holistic way. There's all sorts of great things that are going on. That you can, that, you know, things to see, things to look at, observe, join in with. Circus skills, you've got there, all the great stuff. There's arts, there's all sorts. It's like a really beautifully thought out thing. We just thought we'd elevate that element and go, wait a minute. Can I, can I add in a, a yeah. shout out as, um, to our sponsors for, for the Teen Tent as well? Oh, 100%. So, uh, big thanks to, to You Move that are sponsoring the Teen Tent. So, you move, you move me you with move, your gestures. So, yeah. uh, is it all right to put a link up? And, Maya, can we get a link of you move? Of course, these good people. Yes. These, it, 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 so the whole thing doesn't happen, does it? Unless no. you get all this cooperation and support. Some is financial, some is just people's goodwill and time and effort. So of course we'll we want yeah, to yeah. we want to promote it. We want to definitely put you move. And we, can you get us? Uh, I'll get you the web address or something. Get the web address yeah, and, yeah. and 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 some some yeah. graphics so we can put it up. But it's yeah. essential. So they will be part of the reason why these young people are going to have this opportunity. Well, they, yeah, I mean, we, when we um, they, they contacted us actually, you know, when we've obviously got had sponsors over a number of years, but they contacted us this year and said, "We're we're a local company. We'd like to we're sponsor. Kids. What can we get involved in?" And I said, "Well, what about the team?" And they were they loved it. So yeah, great. Well, there so you go. You. That's that's a perfect thing. That is actually perfect. Yeah, so we're going to put down the, some details about what them and everything else that's going on. Um, we're also going to do a sort of tribute to Pride on the Friday, which is yes. a, another element. We've got Shelia Takia, who is a fantastic local artiste um, and a lot of great artists on the Friday. And it's going to be like a cabaret that is going to be dedicated to the whole idea of Pride, what it stands for. Hopefully there'll be information uh, for anyone that's interested in getting involved in the movement of Pride anyway, but we obviously have our new Pride initiative happening in Chippenham, which was a fantastic thing mm. last year. It was actually great. We're really proud that we've got one now. Proud of Pride, as I like to call it. We have Pride in our proud... Pr anyway... So that will be a cabaret on the Friday. So we've got the. What are we calling it? Um, what are we calling the Friday night? What are we calling the um, Friday night? Friday night. Friday night cabaret, perhaps. <laughs> I just come up with that oh, spontaneous. Thank God I didn't say anything like kids smoking crack. Anyway, so I don't do we, it. I kids. think we got away with don't it. Don't you dare do that, kids. Um, uh, I was going to say because I've worn out a few batteries in my time <laughs> Friday night Friday night right Friday night is uh, fried fried night <laughs> not fried night you can't say what do we call it <laughs> say fried Fr Fr Friday 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 night will be pride uh, dedicated to that Saturday yeah we've got all the fantastic things now on the main stage you have got as it turns out one of the bands that I did, I shared a stage with when I was younger. Sleeper on a Sunday. Sleeper on a Sunday. 
yeah. yeah. They are absolutely fantastic people. Mm. Now, I actually am very fond of their music, and we ended up being on, did a couple of days on the Blur, yeah, it's part life. It was, I'm pretty sure, yeah, it was part, part life tour. Okay. So we did a couple of days with them, and then they came to see what, us when we were later on in love with London. Um, we got to know John Stewart particularly. Um, but they did a beautiful thing. They made, they, they have a single called Nice Guy Eddie. Yeah. Nothing to do with me, I'm sure. But the apps, the beautiful people, made me a clock with okay. their, with their, um, back in the day when you had picture discs. Yes. Nice guy, Eddie, and John's like, hey, we did this for you. I was like, wow, that is amazing. Yeah. So I'm really chuffed, but that because not only are they fantastic musicians, they're really lovely You'll be people. catching up with them when they get? Well, I wouldn't mind. Yeah. I wouldn't mind. I wouldn't mind doing a bit of a sort of backstage podcast this year, just to sort yeah. of get the feeling of, of the acts. I did, I was going to do it with Dodgy, because we, we did the um, Mile End Stadium gig with Blur, but I didn't, we had no flip, we had that sort of thing when we had to move the stages and all that sort of stuff, so it was like the time I thought would be useful to go and interview them, but by the time they finished, no flip had finished, you yeah. were getting everyone beers, we were having that after show thing and it was like... <laughs> and it you know went what? downhill from there. <laughs> well no, what happened is you just then, every because all, all the fantastic people had gone, or yeah. the, the lovely audience, and you had the, you know your crew, yeah, or what have you, and of bands and stuff. And I'm thinking, yeah, probably not. No, that's them now saying, please don't interview us when we're having a beer afterwards, when we're <laughs> when we're finished, when we've just done all our hard work. I thought, nah, I'm not going to do it now. Yeah, cam- um, cameras are banned after closing. Well, it, it makes sense, <laughs> isn't it? That's why I thought so. Maybe um, we'll have a word with Sleeper and see if they will do yeah. it. No, that'd be good. When it's convenient for them, when it doesn't, you know, they might want to rush off afterwards or whatever, whatever. But yeah. um, hopefully they won't. But it would be good uh, if we could do that, just because A, it'd be nice to catch up with them. B, it's great that they're touring again. I really do dig the band. Yeah, because I don't think they've toured in quite a long time, have they? Is, uh, so this I've is... been keeping an eye on their tour. They're, they're doing really well. They did an acoustic tour, I think, last year or, yeah. or something. But yeah. I think aside from that, it's been pretty quiet for quite, for a number of years. Yeah, yeah, so yeah. We're yeah. quite lucky, well, lucky to have them, really. So I, the fact that the times I saw John Stewart after Sleeper was when he was uh, being a musical mentor sort of thing with with the um, BIM, you know the yeah stu- uh, the yeah uh, music like college. access to music sort of thing isn't it that's yeah. right so he, he was based at the one in Brighton but I met with a mate of mine an actor mate Nick Moran who's who was in Lockstock and a few mm-hmm. other things we also they also became friends uh, I knew Nick before then John Stewart got involved and it was lovely it was a three way three way friendship and it was um, yeah so I saw him I think we, he was involved in a film we were doing John was doing music on it. Some, some. Anyway, so I've seen him post mm. Sleeper, but not for a few years. Yeah. And um, it was good, and as as good as it was that he was doing this thing at that music college, which was a great college. It's great to see them back together. So I'm chuffed. But your other lineup, just roll it off because it's fantastic. Uh, so we've got obviously No Fleet, Sleeper, yeah. Ash. The feeling, Els Bailey. We've got uh, Flash tribute to Queen. Yeah. We've got um, Stereoholics. Um, guess what they do? Um, <laughs> we, we've got uh, <laughs> we've got um, a Power Load ACDC tribute. So they they sort of wicked, uh, wicked bands. But then we then we've got other bands like the Chase who are coming down from Nottingham. That yeah. they're a, a kind of a modern day. Uh, original ska band that are kind of in the vein of the ordinary boys, that sort of thing. Yeah. Um, so they're, they're, they're coming down and playing for us. We've got obviously a lot of local bands, Talking Code, uh, Operation 77. That fantastic band. Now, th- this is, this is <laughs> no, true. Stop, 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 stop. Death Bot. It is Death Bot. Yeah, no, Death yeah. Bot. I love Death Bot. But I literally, I said <laughs> this to Lauren, I said, you know, when I said I really love Death Bot when we were on the phone to Rich the other day. I think he thought I was blowing smoke up his jacks here. I wasn't. I forgot you were in the band. Yeah. Okay. How mental is that? I actually said, oh no, Death Pop, I love that band. You were, oh yeah, I went, 
Oh yeah, wait a minute. Rich is actually in drums. You're in two bands, aren't you? You're in the I am, um, yeah. Like dirty smooth. Dirty smooth, yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. How's that going? Are you playing again this year? We are, but we're um we're we're going out this year. We're playing. Uh, our si- our singers taking the summer off, so we've got our guitarist son Ollie. Yeah. Um, is coming on board with us, and we're going out as Break the Theory, just doing rock, rock and pop covers. Nice. So just, just something a bit different. Yeah, like yeah. A completely different set list to what we would normally do. So fantastic. Just, just for, for fun. Um, so. right. Anything else you want to say? Because we're going to do a few of these leading no, up to the I event. Mean, re- really, ju- just uh, check out the website. Tickets available from the website. There's yeah. loads. Of, there's loads and loads of. Um, information on all the bands on there now yeah. where we've re- revamped it all uh, yeah, loads good. of information really on, good, on the yeah. kid zone yeah. um, there's a Spotify playlist um, so I think there's over over 150 songs on there so all the bands that are playing at the festival if you've got Spotify you can go and listen see who you want to go and see over That's the weekend great. and start planning your calendar idea. Um, is that a normal thing? I don't know. I don't know. I think a few festivals do it, but um, yeah, that's a great idea. You um, know. It, well, it just really means you can go and sort of start planning your weekend. Yeah, sort of see who reacquainted you're... with the bands that you've heard of and the ones yeah. you haven't heard of. You suddenly go, wait a minute, I want to see them. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Yeah, no, that's perfect, mate. Um, and yeah, uh, tickets are available. They're like I said earlier, um, only about twenty five percent of weekend tickets left. Ten percent of Saturday day tickets left, um, but. If you can't afford to come and you still want to come, you can volunteer as well. So you can you can go onto our website, um, sign up on the volunteer page, and if you work a, if you work a three hour shift, yeah. um, you get your day ticket. To work three three hour shifts, you get a full weekend ticket Wicked. as well. So um, and we, need, and, and we really that. do need the help volunteering. Yeah, so, yeah, absolutely. Um, That's what I'm saying. It's a truly inclusive uh, festival. And it takes everyone and everything to get it happening. So, perfect. And it's great that people have got the opportunity. Right, okay, we're going to wrap it up here. But we'll put all the information up. We'll put up the information about you move. Is it you move? Yes. Cool. And all the acts you'll see. And we will revisit this <laughs> time after time. It's a wrap. Thank you. Spinning out.